Alright, so first up, um, we're going to do a little bit of a recap from last week. Last so, week we did a video afterwards, but still, yeah. you're watching live. We have a couple Ada Box uh, 13s left over from when we do our big round. We always have a little bit left over because yeah. we make a little bit more than we need just in case. And whatever we have goes into the store. However, this is it. Like, we're probably not going to make yeah. more or have more. So if you would like to get everything you need to do all the cool Ada Box Monster Mask projects, including all the goodies, you get the battery, the mask, the lenses, the plastics, the elastics, the triglides. If we're out of stock on Monster Mask, but you still want one fast, before we put more in stock, you can get them by buying an Ada Box, which gets all the stuff you want anyway. So yep. that's, that's, a, that's a hack. And it comes in a nice box. It's a life hack. Um, nice technique. Okay, we've got the TD Pico from Unexpected Maker. This is an ESP32 miniature dev board. It's so small and so cute. Uh, it's got uh, ESP32 on it. It is very tiny. Uh, it's got a USB 3 converter, some flash memory, and uh, regulator and all the good stuff. So it's just like a super tiny Wi-Fi board ready for your Wi-Fi fun. Uh, for use with our Stemma boards, we have a three pin Stemma to Stemma connector. It's like four inches long or so. Um, we'll be using it in some boards, but for example, the Stemma speaker that we just put in, if you want to connect that up to something that had a, a JST output, this would be a cable that you could use. It's a nice little cable. Coming soon, the STM32 F04 168 megahertz. Cortex M4 from ST. This chip uh, is featured in the Pi board and we've been porting Circuit Python to it because uh, we love it. It's really extremely fast and very powerful. It's got great peripherals. Uh, and so we crafted a feather. It's our first USB-C feather. So I thought I could show this off. And this is actually it running uh, Circuit Python. It's doing a little OLED demo, just testing out uh, I squared C on it. So you can see it's totally able to read files and, and display text, and it does a little font check after that. So we'll remove this. So it works well with our feathers, so we're going through and testing that. But it's got the STM32 F04, two megabytes of SPI flash, uh, 32 kilohertz, and I think 32 megahertz crystal, um, three volt regulator with 500 milliamp output. It's got a NeoPixel reset button, um, LiPo charger, you can run off a LiPo. It has an indicator LED as well as a charge LED. And on here, uh, we had a little bit of space, so I stuck on one of these Stemma QT, or quick compatible cables for I2C. So it's really easy to plug in I2C sensors and displays. Uh, we've been putting more and more um, Stemma QT slash quick compatible devices in the shop. So this is great. And uh, it's feather compatible. It's got the same pinout names as our other feathers. So all of our wings are going to work with it. And it's got that lovely USB-C. So it's like, oh, which way does the USB-C cable go? Like up, down, it doesn't matter because it's reversible. So coming soon, sign up to get this beast of a feather, which will be in the store soon. We'll okay. notify you. Oh, and there's an SD card at the bottom. I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about that. Boom. SD card in the bottom. Nice. Glad you asked. I usually don't put stuff in the bottom. This time I did. All right. This is our entire line of Smart Ink. It has memory. It's smart. So we wanted to make sure it was clear. This is different than all the crummy ones out there. Not crummy. This is Think Ink. Think Ink. That's what we're calling it. And that's what it is. Okay. So we have a new e-ink display. Now the tricolor. 2.9 inch. We had 2.7, 2.13, 1.54. So we're making our way up. 2.9 inch is the next one up. It has a micro SD socket on the back. And yes, it has that built in memory. So what's really nice about this is see this Metro? This is a Metro 328. It's an Atmega 328 with only 2K of RAM, which is like nothing. So even that old Arduino orange one that only JP has, it, that would work with this. Correct, because it is a pumpkin size. Spice Arduino. You got to see, he has an orange one. It's true. It's yeah. Weird, yeah. Well, it, yeah. So the e ink displays because they have a lot of, they actually need like about 11K of RAM to display on them. And uh, so a lot of e ink projects that you'll see from other vendors, they just show it displaying an image and not like text or graphing nope. or anything because they don't have that RAM buffer that lets you actually change what's on the display. Because e inks are very interesting. You can't, 
Um, it's not like a RGB TFT where you can change one pixel at a time. You have to write the entire display at once. And that's why having that RAM is handy so that, for example, uh, with this Metro, you can draw to that RAM buffer and then say, okay, display that onto the e-ink. Um, and e-inks aren't very fast anyways. You're not supposed to update them more than every few minutes. So it's a perfect match because you're not going at super high speeds. Um, you can see how long it takes to update. It takes about 15 seconds um, to switch images. And in this case, I'm just displaying a bitmap off of the uh, SD card. It's got lovely red, nice crisp black on a kind of a pale white background. So that's why it's called a tricolor display. And you could use this with that FT232H as well. Okay. Yeah. It's a recap for, new, 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 new. for everyone new. at home. Okay. okay. Speedy new. New, 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 new. Did you miss that on Adabox 13? Or maybe you loved it so much you want to give it as a gift? You can now get a monster mask with all the fixins. In the Adabox 13, we have a couple in the shop. If you want to make an ESP32, but really, really small, check out the TV Pico. It's an ESP32 board with USB serial converter and flash antenna, but it's really tiny. Great for little projects that have Wi Fi. This JST PH is a two millimeter pitch connector, and you get a three pin to three pin cable. Handy for some upcoming stuff. We want to get these cables in stock so you can plug and play your stemmas. Coming soon, STM32 F405, 168 megahertz Cortex M4 from ST. Has an SD card slot on the bottom, two megabytes of SPI flash. Has a stemma quick connector for quick I2C stuff. Battery charging, USB-C, NeoPixel, like a megabyte of flash, tons of RAM. It's a beast of a chip and is coming through soon to the Feather format. And new in our Think Ink series, we have a 2.9 inch e-ink display, tricolor, lots of pixels with RAM on the back so you can use it with any microcontroller or microcomputer. New, 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 new.